as expected, the Labour Party has welcomed Obasan Joe's endorsement of its flag bearer, Peter Obi, while the party's leadership called it a New Year's gift and an affirmation of Obasan Joe's dream of a better Nigeria. But how will the endorsement really, uh, you know, affect the chances of other parties in the race for the nation's top job? Let's cross live to our Lagos studios and speak to the Deputy National Campaign Manager of the Labour Party, Isaac Balami. Thank you very much for joining us all the way from our Lagos studio there. Well, first of all, Happy New Year to you. And uh, you guys at the Labour Party have been receiving, you, you know, very, year. yes, uh, exciting new year's gifts according uh, to you but how would you react to you know what you're hearing from the the apc the pdp they're saying look this endorsement for all it's worth really nothing you see uh, first of all uh, madam ngozi the truth of the matter is that today in nigeria or in africa not just in the southwest or in the entire southern part of nigeria across the entire nation. If you want to talk about one of the most experienced politician and leader who has seen it all, who was involved in the Biafra war, who has also had the privilege to lead during the military era, who has also had the privilege to be a democratically elected president for eight years, I think it's Obasanjo. If he is not relevant, just like my brother from APC before he just before now said, that Tinubu went to Obasanjo's house because Obasanjo is relevant in our current political dispensation, and that is nothing but the truth. Uh, you see, whether you like it or not, this is a huge step in the forward direction, and this is a great endorsement for Labour Party and our principal, Peter Obi, the incoming president, and his, uh, 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 and his VP, Dati. You see, I'm so surprised when people come to TV and they just talk. I've, I've listened carefully to APC and PDP. You tell us that uh, people tell you they meet you on the street and they tell you that uh, keep on that you are on the right track. Or you come and tell us that uh, OBJ is endorsing Peter OB because he wants somebody that he can control. Let me tell you, it is obvious. Everybody knows who Peter OB is. And OBJ is not a child. This is a veteran. This is a leader, a national or a continental leader. There's no way you can look at what is happening today and say, you see, people are tired. And if APC and PDP will not get it, if they will not get it on time, you know, and begin to discuss with Labour Party and negotiate their way for, for the next eight years, <laughs> I don't really, really see them, you know, being part of anything meaningful. Nigeria has been in bondage for a long time. And the only person who has a proven track record to put the country back to where it should be you know, despite the damages, the bruises, the injuries, it's only Peter Obi. When you look at these other two or three options, you can't compare. Not just because he is strong, he is healthier than them in terms of, you know, uh, age or whatever. No. The track record speaks for itself. You're talking about somebody who has served for eight years as a governor. He's not collecting gratuity from his state. He's not, he didn't take any allowance. Somebody who, even when he was in the private sector, the bank, go to Fidelity Bank. They weren't paying his bills. This is somebody who just wants to serve. He's not into money. He just wants to serve. You know, his name means everything to him. You can't compare. And this is why somebody like Obasanjo, you know, at his age, he felt, let me just do what is right. And let me tell you this. OBJ is not alone. You know that he's a mover, he's a veteran. So when he comes to say these things, he has consulted widely. So whether people like it or not, Labour Party have come to stay. Peter Obi have, and Dati have come to stay. And that is just the truth. All right, Mr. Balami, I mean, there are those who also criticize uh, Mr. Peter Obi that as governor, Anambra didn't move from consumption to production state. And they criticize him to say, you know, Nigeria is very different from Anambra state. But let me ask you, when former President Obasan just says your candidate has people who will pull his ears or who can pull his ear uh, if and when necessary? A lot of people have interpreted that, especially the APC spokesperson who was here a moment ago. They've interpreted it to mean that your candidate is a stooge in the waiting for former President Olusegun Obasan just should he become the president. How do you respond to that? You see, that is not true, and you know that. When they say somebody can pull your ears, it means you are from, I mean, you are somebody who have a listening ears. It means you are somebody who reason, who can be 
engage in a constructive discussion. We've seen leaders where you can't even engage them. I mean, you've seen people even avoiding, you know, engagement with the media because they can't even face it. They don't have the mental capacity to discuss, you know, to rub minds with Nigerians. And you see, when you see a real, a true leader, show me a leader who nobody can talk to. That is a dictator. That is, that is, that is an eyesore. But OBJ is trying to say that President Peter Obi, when he comes in, He's somebody who will listen to people. He will listen to advice, whether from young or from old. So no matter what they're saying, let me just tell Nigerians, Peter Obi is a listener. Look at me. I'm not yet up to 40 years old. I'm in the top management team of his campaign council, and he listens to me. I'm from Borno State. Before now, I never had a handshake with him. So you see, this is the kind of person we need to run this country, you know, to administer proper leadership. So all what they're saying is all false. And you know, these guys are desperate and um, they will say anything. And that is why, you, you know, they come on air and say all sorts of things that is such a pity, you know, because uh, it's only somebody, you know, I mean, I have engaged with a lot of people in APC and PDP, and I ask them one question. In the APC and PDP of today, what is your investment? Most of them are in APC and PDP. They remain there to just get what they can get is for their personal interests. We are in Labour Party because we are tired of the status quo. The country is in trouble. Can't you people get that? And you see, we need to wake up and stop this thing we are doing. This is an opportunity to rescue this country, and we cannot joke with it. Mm, right. And that's exactly what uh, President Olusha Gombasanjo uh, seems to be saying. But let's go back to the worn-out you know, argument about the lack of... Uh, uh, structure really for Peter will be that look this endorsement really will not uh, amount to much uh, especially when you know the former president says to the Nigerian youth look this is the time that you must uh, make that decision but a lot of people seem to believe that all of this is only on social media that at the end of the day uh, boots are not necessarily on ground in a way that will translate from social media to real actual votes and at the end of the day the peter will be uh you know team may just be disappointed you see <laughs> you see one worst thing in life is to lie to yourself the worst thing in this life is to sit down and lie to yourself self-deceit Anybody who says that Labour Party has no boot on ground, initially decided by saying we are only four in a room tweeting. Then they saw us in our numbers. Some said it's not up to a million. It doesn't matter. You saw multitude of crowd in their numbers without being induced with money, you know, taking their hard-earned money to work for Labour Party and our candidate Peter Obi and Dati. Secondly, you know, they've seen how coordinated our rallies are. You know, we have seen how disorganized they were, you know, in, in their own rallies. When you talk about, uh, about structure, in the next couple of days or so, you know, we will be uploading our ward agents in about 180-something thousand polling units. You see, when you say there's no structure, I don't understand. You see, that is just a word they enjoy saying so as to confuse the undecided voters. But you see, time will speak for itself. In the next two weeks, one week from now, it will be clearer. And I can assure you that a lot of people, you know, uh, think we're not doing anything about this, but we're working. And it's not time to make noise. We're working. While our principal is going around the country doing the rallies, we are on ground and we're working. And I can assure you that the evidence will be visible, you know, uh, and very, very uh, clear to everybody very, very soon. And everybody seems to be laying claims to the large crowd turnout yep. at their campaign rallies. We keep our fingers crossed. We can only wish you the best. Mm -hmm. Isaac Balame is the Deputy National Campaign Manager of the Labour Party. Thank you so much for being on the news tonight.